What's going on guys, this is ESP Killy, and for today I have you a raid hardpoint match with my team. Um, this time it's actually all four of us, you know, last video it was just a 3v3 search and destroy, and now it's actually a GB, but uh, this one is a team scrim, and right here is a derp, kind of a derp, 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 derp. Yeah, kind of just ran off, run it, ran off the map and kind of got screwed, but that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, so the team scrims uh, against, I don't know what team this was called, it was just like a random pickups, and, not really pickups, but it was just a random pickup team. So, yeah, pretty much what I want to talk about today is team scrims, team scrims late night gaming positions, uh, a new listening series I'm going to start uh, looking for sponsors, the whole Twitter sphere thing, and um, just and also I just want to cover like a few other things like once I get to that part, point. In time so pretty much team scrims it's the number one thing you need to do to get your team going I mean team scrims literally it's just you scrimmage with your team you practice with your team because practice makes perfect and you just need everyone needs practice even the greatest teams in COD history or even League of Legends or whatever crap is on the PC I don't play PC as much I only play crisis 3 but that's a, besides the point so team scrims, you pretty much need to run them almost every day. Like if you want to be amazing, you need to run scrims every single day. You need to grind scrims because last night uh, was Saturday, and I was up until my time. I was up until three o'clock in the morning doing team scrims, and I know that my team was probably just like we can uh, like was probably just like what are you doing? Why are we still scrimming? But what I did, I pretty much pushed them to the limit last night. Um, I, I had my stepbrother with me. Uh, he was just watching me play, and then he was knocked out. I'm telling you, he was knocked out while I was team scrimming because I kept on playing more and more scrims, and he was just watching me play. But, like, uh, I'm only saying that because he's right next to me, and he's trying to be quiet while I'm doing this. You can talk if you want, you know. <laughs> that works. <laughs> but, yeah, um... Yeah, so yeah, we were team scrimming for my time until 3 o'clock, and for Oregon, uh, who was like, it would be the earliest time within the differences of ours, he, he was up until like 12 o'clock, so kudos to him trying to get that uh, that grind going. We played like at least four, maybe five sets of scrims, like four or five teams, so we played a good like 16 matches, because um, we, uh, we did a few best of fives and a best of threes. Uh, if we were counting them, we actually won more than 50% uh, of them, uh, so that's really, really good, because that's like the first, this is the first real time we're getting together and scrimming. Uh, I really do congratulate my team for staying on, because we're always like, our, sometimes our schedules just like do not work out, but yeah, shout out to my team. Uh, we got ESP Oregon, ESP Rue, and ESP Weggs, and of course me, ESP Killy. So yeah, that's pretty much about team scrims and late night gaming. Now positions. Um, on raid, we try and work out that we have one laundry, two in hill, and one roaming. And it works out pretty well. After that, we try and get, we need to get kitchen control like within, when there's 15 seconds left on the hard point, you would see us rotating around and trying to get that hill. And um... It, it works, I'm telling you. We have two in the hard point. One goes tree, top tree. And one goes, like, in the middle, and he just roams around. Like, we, you always need to have, like, one guy roaming. Because if he's in a set position, you're going to find out what everyone does every single time. But that one roaming guy, you're not going to know where he's going to be every single time. So, like, that's usually what I do. Um, that or Rue. Uh, ESP Rue would be going to the hard point and just like roaming and just roam around but that's that hard point and next hard point would be garage the garage is one of our most difficult hard points we've found out that we need to control because it always happens that we're, there's always one left in there and then we just get bum rushed and it just does not work, ever work out and you see that Oregon gets that nice like i didn't even cut up cut off my commentary but he gets a nice four piece and we get total control of uh, the middle hard point, which is crucial. He, he just, like, he, he pretty much gave us that lead uh, back into the game. And then, you know, they take it back because I was, uh, I pushed back 
yellow Lambo, and I shouldn't have. I should have stayed inside the hard point and just waited for them to come from the dividers. See, like, once you watch your own gameplays, like, you see uh, things that you do wrong and you just work on them, and that's pretty much what we've been doing. We've been going into theater mode after matches and just, like, after scrims and seeing what we can accomplish, like, how we can help out ourselves, because why do a match lose and do absolutely nothing about it that's what you need to you need to learn off of it so like even after game matches like you, you can look at my, you can tell my team like i usually um i see what we did wrong in the game and i tell them what we all did wrong and and then we just work off of that and it always works it's been working for the past uh, few days and we want to keep it going for the past like like for the next past like months we want to keep on over the next few months we want to keep that going um because i think we definitely want to go to an event without a doubt uh with the only problem we would have is the age you know with their parents trying to get like for getting permission for their parents to go to events but honestly we do have potential and i'm not just saying that because they're my team i'm saying that because like i've been around call of duty for since competitively i've been playing call of duty since modern warfare 2 and i i, I wasn't a cod 4 guy um, I, that was a pub star in COD 4, but I don't want to go on that, off on that tangent, so yeah, we covered that, um, I'm gonna start a new listen-in series next week, uh, it's pretty much gonna be, like, literally just, you know, like those envious listen-in series, and you're gonna hear how we talk, how, like, good our communication is, and you just, you can see, like, why our communication works. Because once we get pumped up and we turn up, and, like, I think our, our, our thing is, like, we turn up, like, T-U-R-N-I-P, you know, like, the, the veg vegetable, we turn up, that's kind of our little thing, yeah, but that's another tangent, I keep going on tangents, I do apologize, I, I just, because when I do commentaries, I just, um, I just, like, go off the top of my head, I have, like, a list on a notepad, and I just say, alright, I want to go over this, 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 and this, and then I just press play, and I just whatever's at the top of my head just go but yeah that's gonna start next week uh it's probably gonna be like a weekly series it's not gonna be a daily series because that that'll be like a little bit too much i'm gonna because i'm gonna try and upload every day but the listening series is gonna be once a week and it's gonna be different maps i'm not i'm gonna look to every single map and i'm gonna try and get every single game type on every single map i'm not gonna try and uh, repeat until i do every single map and game type so yeah that's that also, um, next on the list is uh, looking for sponsors. If anyone is uh, out there who is sponsored, that the sponsor is actually like willing to add an other teams, um, I would greatly appreciate it if you can put a good word in it. My Twitter is at ESP underscore Killy. Uh, definitely DM me a message and... Uh, just please, it's like it, I'm not. I'm not pleading. I'm just like asking. It'll be really cool if uh, anyone sees that, because we are looking ourselves for um, sponsors. Don't don't think that we're just like trying to be lazy and just ask other people for sponsors. We are looking for sponsors. It's just that um, like a little help could help, because uh, we do have potential, and I hope that sponsors out there will see that we do have potential and just agree that we could be a sponsor team and then we can go to events and i can even give you more content because uh with sponsors you know they help us out and we help them out so that's always a good thing about sponsors now next on our list is um our um organs channel uh right now i upload the my videos on organs channel and my channel so you can pretty much watch both on both channels, but also if you're watching it on my channel, totally subscribe to his channel. Um, he has some good content. I've seen it before. Like all, like he uploads um, not not frequently, frequently, but he does upload videos a lot. And I just want to like this part right here is like the crucial part. It's 190 to 190. I get a huge four piece, and we get total control of everything. And then Rude takes down with a lightning strike. He gets a uh, two-piece. And we just take total control and we win the game. Just, like, straight here. Like, off of, like, us just going, like, off. And then that's pretty much, like, why I wanted to upload the video. Because we win it, like, last hard point. And I didn't want 
to upload a video that was like uh, a shutout, like completely getting shut out, because that's not fun. Like that's not entertaining to watch. But yeah, uh, definitely go check out Oregon's channel. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, totally just send me a message on Xbox at rod space Killionaire, on Twitter at esp underscore killy, or just in the comment section below. And leave a like if you like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day. Peace.